Hi everyone, Ironclad Cobra here and welcome to another emulation showcase video. Today I'm showcasing Odroid Go Ultra emulation potential and of course as you've seen on my channel I've done a comparison video between my Ambernic 552 and my Odroid Go Ultra OGU showcasing some emulation games as well and of course those videos were with retro arena today i'm showcasing also emulation games using jealous jealous is another great linux system and it stands for just enough linux operating system J-E-L-O-S the acronym for Jealous and it's a great system and of course uh, I have to mention it's not a competition between Jealous and Retro Arena both are awesome operating systems and both teams have made great jobs you know making these systems successful I just wanted to try things out with Jealous it's just a matter of preference or um, taste. Now before we start showcasing the gameplay I have to mention two points regarding uh, Odroid devices. Um, if you are a person who is looking for a high build quality and plug and play device this might not be a good option for you. I personally love the OGU but as I mentioned, it's a special device, might not be for everyone. One point is um, it requires lots of tinkering and tweaking. So if you are a person who enjoys that, this could be a great option for you. You will love it. The other point is the build quality. It's not a high build quality. I think it's medium. I personally enjoy it and I love it. And if you remember in my previous uh, OGU videos, I made the analogy of uh, American muscle car. In my 552 comparison, I mentioned that the OGU is like an American muscle car. Great performance, great power, but not high build quality. Whereas the 552 from Ambernick is more like a European car. Very, very good build quality but the performance might not, might not be as powerful as the OGU that uses the S922X uh, chipset which is used in Android TV boxes. Now, the, bear these things in mind and as I mentioned, um, flashing Jealous is the same steps as flashing Retro Arena. I'll include that in the video description you simply connect it to your Windows PC the way I do it. Uh, put your Odroid Go Ultra on the recovery mode with a USB cable and then flash, uh, use for example uh, Balena Etcher or Rufus. Flash the image file that I will include it also in the video description from Jealous uh, website. They have very very good documentation by the way talking about that huge shout out to uh, Brooksy Tech and Afro Toast for all their, their help and support and the entire dev team behind Jealous great job you guys so you just flash it on your EMMC the internal storage and when Jealous is flashed you just put up uh, your device and then insert your SD card I personally use Samsung uh, Evo Select 256. I find it ideal. You can go with smaller 128 or bigger with 500 gigabytes, but I find the 256 ideal for my emulation devices. I always wait until they are on sale on Amazon for $20, and I always have one or two extra in my drawer. So, as you see, this is the SD card I use, and then once you have your uh, Jealous flashed, you insert the SD card, reboot 
until the partition is populated and then you have the you have you will have the rom file system on your sd card and then you can copy your game roms of course i will include all these steps in the video description okay so that would be just a quick you know info about ogu now let me share with you some gameplay as you see in my ogu i have about 10,000 games roughly most of the systems that I enjoy or I prefer um, as you see Atari 2600 Dreamcast Game & Watch Game Boy Advance Game Boy Color Game Gear GameCube is a little bit difficult on the OGU some games are playable but they are not running smooth at 60 FPS so maybe in the future you know with better uh, updates with the Linux firmware it could be possible uh, Genesis Master System MSX MSX2 N64 is running really well I tried it as well and then NES today I'm going to showcase uh, PSP and PS1 so that's my PS1 PS2. PS2 is also running well. Not all games are playable, but some games are. In other videos, I will showcase that as well. PSP is playable as well. Saturn is playable. And then SNES. Tools, you can also run uh, PSP games through tools. Uh, you can just go there and launch your PP SSPP emulator so then you can also you know start the games from here as well once you are at uh, PSP just to give you some tips make sure to go to your settings while you are in settings just to get better performance try to go to audio and in your audio make sure when you are in device Put it on Odroid Go Ultra because sometimes you might experience uh, audio tear. Uh, I think it's from the firmware, so make sure your device is set on Odroid Go Ultra. And then with your graphics, make sure to go to your um, frame skipping. Make sure to put it on one auto frame skip check it or get it checked as well I'll include these tweaks in the video description as well just to have a little better performance okay turbo graphic 16 and then those are the games I'm using uh, of course as you see here uh, this is the minimal theme if you guys are interested it's in the UI there are three stock themes this is my favorite the emulation station minimal I'm sure in the future more themes might be available okay so let me just showcase some uh, PSP gameplay and for PSP I decided to go to one of my favorite racing games as well which is the F1 2009 okay so let's start the gameplay So let's start some uh, PSP game play. This is the F1 2009, one of my favorite racing games. Uh, it's worth mentioning that for my game ROMs, I'm using the ISO format or the ISO files. I think they're running well with PSP on uh, Jealous.
Let's see how smooth will that be. I think it's running smooth, 60 FPS, as you see on my top right screen. I think it's really running well. Okay, as you see guys, top right of my screen, 60 FPS. I think PSP games are, are running well on uh, the Android Go Ultra. As I mentioned early, earlier, not all games are running great, but some games are running really smooth at 60 fps so i guess that would be for the video today thank you so much guys for watching feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and always remember we don't stop gaming because we grow old we grow old because we stop gaming